Well, we did see a very nice day today. Temperatures were into the 70s. 78 degrees was our high here in the capital, and we've fallen down just into the uh, by a degree into the upper 70s, still 77 degrees. Now take a look over in Grand Ledge. We still have a little bit of some clouds in the sky. Those are just mid to upper level clouds that are going to continue to work in. High temperatures just still into the 70s, 79 degrees, and down in Hillsdale, still seeing filtered sunshine as temperatures are starting to cool down back into the upper 70s, 78 degrees after a high of 79 degrees. We're going to continue our journey across the Skyview network. Jackson Cam, we're still seeing a little bit more clouds. Again, these are just mid to upper level clouds. Temperatures are back into the upper 70s, 78 degrees. Now let's take a look at our satellite and radar. You can see those clouds are moving in. That is ahead of a low pressure system, but that high pressure system that is right overhead is is eating away at all that moisture that low pressure system has. So we're just seeing clouds as a result from that. But we do have a cloudy afternoon and rest of the evening to look forward to and for some of Sunday as well. Let's take a look at that on our precision cast. As we head into tonight, we'll see a mix of clouds and maybe a few breaks of some clearing, but again, we will see mostly cloudy skies for the majority of the night. And then as we head into the day tomorrow, we do see uh, peaks of sunshine and clouds mixed again, but then we do again have those clouds working in. And if you're heading up north for Father's Day, grab an umbrella as there is a chance for some showers up north for the afternoon and maybe even here across the mid-Michigan area later on tomorrow night. But I still think it's just going to be a quick shower, but that's going to usher in some very warm and humid air for the next couple of days. Now for tonight, we're going to be back down into the 50s with partly cloudy skies, and it's going to be the last cool night for the night or for a very long time as we continue to see temperatures warming up each and every day. In fact, tomorrow we'll be back into the 80s, 87 degrees, and on top of that, our dew points are going to be increasing as well. So as we head into the next couple of days, we'll continue to see temperatures into the 80s and yes, even into the 90s for the start of the week and we're also going to continue to see those dew points increase as well. We can see that by Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, we have those dew points right into the 70s, which is very oppressive for this time of year and even for the next couple of days. So that's why we do have a weather aware day for Monday through Friday because of these daytime highs into the 90s, dew points into the 60s. That makes for very hot and humid conditions with those heat indices into the hundreds. Yes, the hundreds. So over the next couple of days, we're going to continue to warm up and you can see those red colors on the graphic right there. Temperatures into the 90s and we're still going to see in the 90s into next weekend before the 80s return to the forecast. I'm telling you what, it's on the up and up, Kelsey. I can even feel it in the studio right now. Yeah. I'm sweating right now. If you can see me through this camera, it's all over my face. I mean, my hair my face. isn't staying curled, so you know that the humidity is My hair is just frizzing out. It just yeah. gets that like that all over the place. I have makeup in my jacket. I'm just a hot mess today from the weather <laughs> and all this stuff that's been going it's on. Okay. It's just too much it's for me. Okay. <laughs> you know, it what, hopefully it'll cool down. <laughs> well, coming up, we'll have some